Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can generate a child theme properly into your design tools in HubSpot. And if you notice here on the marketplace, I already installed some parent themes in the HubSpot marketplace. And really the reason why you wanted to have a child theme is you cannot control the update of that specific theme. It, in most cases, if you want to save time creating from scratch, you will install or use a, a different theme that is already made by the team of a developer. And you cannot control their updates. So if you have some custom changes um, that you wanted to apply to that specific theme, you will lose them if you put that styles into the parent theme itself so it's just like wordpress you want to save that custom styles that you will be doing so having a child theme is super important okay but before you duplicate and you know generate a child theme into that parent theme i would recommend guys to have a child theme folder and that can be done by clicking this file and just click the new folder and again i created a folder called child theme where I want to lead, uh, where I want to sit all of my child themes in this folder. There are some of the folders in here that are not really needed and you need to fix them and remove them because our builder right now is super, is super slow to load. So yeah, I'm fixing that part. Um, and I'm going to use the offline method to, to make things faster. But anyway, to generate a child theme, you just need to select the parent theme and click that um, root directory of that parent and click the create child. And then you need to choose the folder where that theme would be sit. So as I said, I created a folder called child themes. So just click. Um, um, just, just target that folder and on the advanced section as well you can rename that child theme so maybe that is child drive so i know it is uh, a style from the drive theme so i think i'm going to use drive theme child style yeah i think what that is better same with the js file and this one it's a shell drive again and create okay now not all the files in that parent theme will be cloned there's only a specific like only a specific or important files will be cloned if you click the clone style and I'm going to show you what I mean in here. So I have this drive style child. There is a templates, which is the basic one and the layouts. These are the only files that will be copied into your child theme because if because I mean, these are the only files that will make your temp theme works. But if you compare that into the parent theme, you see a lot of folders um, sit into the parent one. And let's say you want to come up with a um, tweak version of that temp, um, that, what do you call that, that templates, the home.html, then what you can do is just right click again and click the clone to child. Okay, and obviously what I really like about HubSpot is it automatically detects what is the corresponding child theme to that parent theme if you already created a child theme. So I'm going to click OK button. And um, so let's go back with the child one, go to the child drive. And if you notice in here under the templates, there's already a home that HTML in here, and you can always change that one to maybe home or um, landing page, or let's say home or final. Like it, this will, you just need to change some of the wordings in here for you to know that 
hey, this is a child theme. It's not a parent theme. Because when you go into the landing page option, I'm going to click this edit test in here and select theme itself. Like I have this bunch of, this needs to be fixed actually. So, but anyway, if you go into the templates, you've seen in here that there is a drive child, which I already generated this one. And if I click this one, um, you'll see that it is already named to a different, let's, it's already home final instead of a final one. And if you want to change this, um, tech, this pictures in here, that is also possible. Currently it is the screenshot path is here and that can be found again on the child theme area. So under the images here and template preview. Now, if you want that to, you want to use a different picture, then you can just simply um, create, uh, actually, I'm gonna, I just prefer to just duplicate the parent theme first. I'm gonna click that and click the cloned child theme, DB, drive theme child, okay? Then I'm go back to the child itself and picture. Okay, so let's just pretend that this one, I want this to be the preview of this child theme templates. Um, so what you're gonna do is copy the public URL, go back to the home, and instead of having that root directory, you can then just grab this one, put it over here, and remove that get assets URL. And let's refresh it. Oh. So let's go back with again with the child theme drive. And if you notice the preview already changed to the new um picture and there's a lot of things that you can do it's not just changing the preview itself you can customize the javascript and the styles of your of that template without starting from scratch which i really like i love i am in love of using a child theme versus on doing a scratch it's a magic formula to fasten your work but yeah, that's how it works, guys. I'm gonna, if you like this kind of video, I'm gonna create a separate one. So comment down below what topic you want me to cover on my next video if it is a hotspot related thing. I'll be happy to answer that if I have more time. And yeah, have a great day. See you on my next video.